Hi, my name is Zach, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on using a timeline in Adobe Flash. For this tutorial, I'll be using the latest version of Adobe Flash, Adobe Anime, and I'll be using a Wacom Intuos to draw. Step 1. Setting up a Flash document. The first step is to actually launch Flash. Once Flash opens, you're going to create a new ActionScript 3.0 file. Now, select the Selection tool from the Tools menu and click on the dark grey area of your canvas. This opens up Document Properties in the Properties panel. Now, you set your canvas size. I'm going with 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is Full HD, but you can use any other size. Step 2. Navigate to the Timeline. The Timeline box is usually located at the top or bottom of your screen. In order to create a frame, you must go onto the default layer, labeled New Layer or Layer 1, right-click somewhere in the timeline, and select Insert Frame. Frames are the runtime of your animation, and since we're animating at 24 frames per second by default, 24 frames equals 1 second. Step 3. Creating Keyframes The dot in the first frame of your timeline is a keyframe. A keyframe holds a single drawing. Therefore, if we select this keyframe and draw, this drawing will be stored inside the keyframe. If you want to make a new drawing, right-click the frame and select Insert Blank Keyframe. You can also accomplish the same thing by pressing F6. If you want to copy your current drawing to another frame, right-click a frame and select Insert Keyframe. The shortcut for this is F7. You can drag these keyframes anywhere you want on the timeline. You can delete keyframes by right-clicking them and selecting Clear Keyframe. And you could also do the same to frames by selecting Remove Frame. If you have more than one keyframe in your layer, you can activate the Onion Skin tool near the bottom of the timeline to see multiple keyframes at once. You can increase the duration of the Onion Skin by dragging the dot stretching out of the playhead back and forth. Onion Skinning allows you to draw lines between two keyframes, which is essential to creating smooth animations. Step 5. Give yourself a pat on the back, because you now know how to interact with keyframes in the timeline in Flash. Congratulations! This information will set you on your way to creating great animations. 